More now on the disappearance of Denise Flum, a case dating back to the late 1980s. Gianna Taboni is a producer and correspondent for Vice News, and she's also the director of a new mini series called Small Town Secrets, and she is with us tonight. I appreciate your time tonight. So, what new details have you been able to uncover in your investigation as you focus in on the details of this case? Well, Marnie, as you know, and first, thanks for having me on. We, uh, my co director, Nicole Bazorgmir, and I, investigated this case for about three years. We stumbled upon it by chance while doing a different documentary. And what we learned really stunned us, uh, which is why we stuck with this story. Um, we spoke to several people who, you know, said that these persons of interest confessed directly to them. Uh, we learned from one person that Denise's ex-boyfriend, um, his alibi, uh, who this person was the subject of, he said none of it was true. Um, you know, we were able to uh, investigate this while a confession, you know, actually happened on camera, which is in the series. We approached uh, all three persons of, of interest um, and were able to talk to them, you know, at least one of those uh, persons of interest, the, the sheriff's department hasn't even had a chance to sit down and talk to them. So those are just a few examples of uh, some of the you know, revealing things that you'll see in this series. Hmm. Is there a theory uh, that is, is in your mind tonight about what may have happened to Denise? <laughs> So, you know, you'll you'll learn a lot by watching, um, you know, my co-director and I, we still talk, you know, every week after a few years of looking into this um, about what could have happened. Uh, you know, we think that the confessions um, that we know about are some version of the truth, but uh, I think that we're not sure exactly what happened. It's hard to know, um, you know, unless one person responsible comes forward and really gives more detail um, than Denise's ex-boyfriend gave before he passed away. Let me ask you this. Do you believe that the killer is still out there free? I believe that people who were involved in Denise's disappearance and death definitely are still around. How about DNA evidence? I mean, all these years later, we're seeing so many cold cases solved through technology. I know that her car was found around the time that she went missing. Have investigators been able to piece any of that information together in this search for answers? That's a great question, and, and we were hoping to have some success there. Obviously, her family, you know, was hoping the same. They haven't been able to, um, they haven't been able to connect any any DNA. So uh, I think they'll continue to try, but nothing as of yet. And Gianna, tell me about her parents. I saw them in part of your series. I mean, they are looking for answers more than anyone, some closure, um, some definitive information to tell them what happened to their daughter. How are they doing through all of this? What have they shared with you? We got to know Judy and David Flum really well through this experience. Um, you know, Denise's family, my heart goes out to them. They're, they're lovely people. Um, they're hanging in there, but their main concern is that they're getting older. Um, they're not going to be around for, you know, you know, another few decades to wait for this case to be solved, which is why they're putting so much pressure on the sheriff's department, on any detectives who can give them any information on where Denise's remains are. And it's really, for them, it's not about putting someone behind bars. It's not about convicting someone and giving them a long sentence. It's just about bringing their daughter home. They just want to have a memorial service to celebrate her, her life that ended too soon. Uh, real quickly, if people want to see the series, Gianna, where should they go? They can watch it on Vice TV. It'll be this Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. It's a three-part series, three hours. All right, we'll be watching. Thank you for your time and focus on this case. A young woman with a future ahead of her. Gianna, appreciate it. Thanks for watching. Click the red subscribe button below so you can get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.